Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about veneers and there's a lot of questions I get on a daily basis and when I'm actually treatment planning, explaining treatment to patients, they really don't seem to understand uh, and in the beginning as what it is. So I'm here to break down those misconceptions and explain it a little better. So hopefully if you'd like to hear more about that, let's get started. A lot of us know what a crown is. It's when a tooth needs to be completely encompassed with a porcelain-like material. Veneers are simply a version of a crown, but they don't go all the way around the tooth. They may go into the, into the areas where we floss the veneer material, but it won't go all the way around the back. So a veneer is, when you think about like a laminate or so a veneering of wood, of anything at all, it's sort of like a facade or a covering that goes over the front of the tooth. It can change the shape of the tooth, it can change the contacts of the tooth, it can change the shade of the tooth, and it can really, when you do a multiple, uh, a number of veneers, you can really impact the smile and you can make a major difference in just hours. How can we get veneers? Can we have them in one visit? Can we, do we have as a multiple visits and why? The first thing is veneers come in more than one material. So we can, I can create veneers for you directly in your mouth uh, on that first and only appointment. They're called direct bonding or like a direct technique, direct veneer. There's also an indirect technique and that is where we actually prepare the teeth. We'll remove a little bit of the surface layer, not a lot, but we'll remove a little bit of surface layer and we will make an impression or a, uh, a mold or a digital video of what we have left and send that to a laboratory. When the laboratory gets it, they will create your teeth mold, teeth molds in a, in a stone model or in, a, in an acrylic model if it's printed, and then they will layer porcelain and create the veneer there. That's called an indirect technique, and that's usually like a porcelain material. There's different porcelain materials that we can choose as dentists and as te technicians, but that's essentially it. So then the patient, while that's being made, is usually anywhere from two to four weeks waiting with temporary, so they'll have like a temporary covering on the teeth while they're waiting for the technicians at the lab to make that indirect veneer. Shade, again, shade, light, translucency, all these things and nuances can be really made very beautifully when they're done with the indirect technique. I've seen the direct technique done also very beautifully depending on the experience of the operator and depending on the materials used. I'm gonna show you a couple of different things that we use when we do our direct technique, but also, um, again, I just wanna make sure point is is that both can be very beautiful it's just a matter of uh, operator experience sometimes though it's also this substrate so it's the teeth underneath so we have to look at as dentists before we ever prepare to do veneers on you of any kind we have to think about what is the current shade of your teeth what is the sh what is the concerns that you have are we trying to mask crowding because we can give you instantly straight teeth with veneers or are we just trying to change the shape slightly or lighten them a little bit because maybe they don't whiten well maybe they're chipped or broken and we're trying to give them a little bit more length it's so better much better when we have studied the case in advance we've looked at the photos we've talked to you the patient we've asked you you know what is it you like you may bring us in a smile that you love we may uh, do a design on a computer on the ipad using the dsd app or some other technology to just sort of sketch up what we think would work best and we're always looking at that with respect to your facial dimensions because a certain length tooth on me is going to look different than a certain length tooth on someone else. So we have to take the landscape, which is the face, into consideration before we plan. The planning is a really key component to the, the veneer process. It's not like when we do a filling in the back tooth where we just go in, we use our drill, we you know, create the space and then we fill it. You don't need to do a lot of planning for that. 
but really the ideal smile design cases and the cases where the patients are the most happy is when the dentist has put a lot of thought into the facial planning and where the teeth should be, what shape they should be, what shade they should be, and then allowing the patient to either get to see a visual of that in like on a 2D digital version or in a digital smile design clinic like we have here, they actually get to try it in their mouth in what we call a mock-up. So, you know, a mock run or a mock trial of that design can actually be inserted into your mouth and then we can check to see if you like it. When you come in for your appointment to have the veneers, we've already got the design in mind and now we're going to, we may or may not give you some any freezing. A lot of times we're dealing with just the surfaces and we're not cutting or prepping into the teeth deeply. So a lot of my veneer cases I actually don't give anesthetic for unless I'm doing something a little bit more invasive or if a tooth has a lot of old filling material and I may be having to try to take that out. But generally if we're just doing direct bonding or direct uh, indirect veneers, we can not even have to give you anesthetic. So you get to like kind of look when you sit, when you sit you up, you, your lip still works. It's, it's a much better experience. And also it's not as an invasive or a very deep prep type of appointment as um, you would have maybe if you were having a crown done. When you are having the teeth um, done, usually as a dentist, I will start with the central teeth. I think of those as sort of the centerpiece. I make sure I get that right. I may be adding, layering um, different comp com uh, composite material, or again, if I am sending it to the lab, I'm going to be getting ready to take an impression so I can send that to the lab. But let's say we're doing actually what we call direct veneers. And this is a version of or a part of what we call light dentistry. And you may be able to see a few of my earlier videos me talking about light dentistry. So do check that out. Um, so with light, with the direct veneer technique, I'm initially again looking at the photographs very closely, have an idea of shade. But once I start to layer the, the, um, the composite material on the tooth, I start to see, okay, this is the shade, this is really right. It looks good, it matches the lower teeth, it matches the teeth in the back, we're good. Sometimes I'll actually say, you know, I don't love it, I'm gonna, I'll take it off and I'll apply a different shade. So the great thing about direct veneers is that I can play around with the shade, I can play around with the texture and the lighting all while you're in the chair. And that is all done with, um, when we retract your lips and cheeks with a, a um, basically a sort of like a rubber dam, but it keeps your lips and cheeks out of the way, so I can really work and, and do what I need to do. The material itself is very soft, so it's sort of like a putty. And when I first apply it, I'm applying it with special tools and I'm using special other types of glue to get the material to move. I always say, and this is my assistant laughs at me, but I always say it's like pizza dough. So I, I have a ball of dough and then I kind of place it right in the center of the pan. And as I roll it out, I better have a good idea about how much I need because as I roll it out, I may find that I don't have enough. And it's much harder to add another layer after or I may start to get it thin in some areas. So like when you're placing the pizza dough and you're like, oh, I gotta, you know, you get one area where it's a bit too thin and you have a little hole in the dough. So you don't, I don't want that. So I'm pretty experienced now where I get to the point where I generally know what, how much to take off at a time when I'm layering but I'll do that. So I'll do that with the base color. Then I'll say, you know what, maybe there's some nuances. Maybe the other teeth have some little little character, characterization, things like that in them. So I actually have little paint brushes. Now as a artist wannabe, <laughs> I always wanted to run away and just become an artist, which my dad wouldn't let me. But anyway, um, I would love, always wanted and love to use paint brushes. So we, in our toolkit, we have little brushes. They're just like a paintist, an artist, brushes and we have little special tints and dyes and things like that. So I can add in little nuances, little bright spots, dark areas um, to create a real life likeness to the veneer. Now again I say veneer, we're talking about the direct veneers. That's what the technician will do, a very similar thing when they're working in the lab as well. So whether we're doing it chair side or we're doing it in the in the lab, it's a very similar technique. So it's a layering process with 
different colors and tints. And then at the very end, I will add what's called sort of like in, you're getting your nails done, kind of like a top coat. So you create this like light, more translucent top coat. And that, when you put it with the polishers that we have, creates a super high shine. So I can create texture with those. I can create a really high shine. And that's, you know, basically how we do it. The, the, then the next, so that's the sunder teeth, then I'll move to the next teeth, and then I'll move to the canines, and then I'll kind of go back further and further, depending on what you want. And this can be done, this technique, the great thing about it is it can be done in one visit. So, you know, you get in and you sit up in the chair and you are a completely different smiling person with a, maybe a lot more confidence or maybe a lot more, we had a patient this week, um, she just burst into tears. So it's really emotional, it's really, we know it impacts people, how people um, feel about themselves and their confidence. So it's really fun dentistry and um, you know, anyone who you think should maybe experience this, who could be benefit from this, from a price point perspective, it's really not expensive um, because the porcelain veneers, as you know, if I have to get a technician, I use using a lab to, to make my veneers, the cost goes up cons considerably. And you get a product that is less likely to stain over time or have any issues like that. It's a little bit stronger than the direct technique, but you get, uh, with the direct technique, you get the instant solution. It's cost effective. Uh, you may have whitened your teeth beforehand to get the base shade a little lighter, but overall, it's a really great way to transform your smile without having to break the bank. I really hope that was helpful. I know, again, there's so many questions about veneers and people just don't understand, but I really hope that helped. If you'd like to share this with someone who you think could benefit, please do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any more questions or comments about this, I would be more than happy to share with you. See you next time.